Hi everyone and welcome to this Fantasy Art Friday video. In this video I'm working on a drawing of an air dragon and I really liked the idea of working on this because I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to try out some different colours and maybe try out some new drawing techniques. I was imagining that this dragon would like to spend most of its time flying, high up in the sky and hiding within the clouds, and I was also imagining that it, in this drawing it would be illuminated by the moon, and so I could create some cool effects with that. In terms of its design, I wanted it to seem streamlined and aerodynamic, with an elongated body and tail uh, to help with its flying. And then I also wanted some areas of its body to seem transparent, so you can see through all the different layers. Those were just my initial ideas while I was working on the sketch, and then for the pen outlines, as you can see, I was using my Copic Marciana SP 0.03, and I love spending extra time on the outlines, making sure they're as smooth as possible. Um, and in the end, between the sketch and the outlines, that process took two and a half hours before it was time to start working on the colouring. For the colouring, I chose to use Copic markers, starting off with the air dragon's head. And I began with an ice blue marker, then I faded that upwards towards the top of the dragon's head with a pale heath marker, just leaving this section a bit more highlighted. Then I also blended a sky blue marker to add a bit of shading to some areas. Um, then within its eye, I used a light pink around the outside edge. And then for the pupil, I used a cerise marker, which is extremely bright. Um, then on top of all of this, I made sure to add some highlights with a mixture of a white Prismacolor pencil and my Uniball white ink pen. As you can see, I added even more cerise to the dragon's head. I, I just really wanted it to stand out as much as possible. And then for the parts of the dragon's head that extend towards the top right of the drawing, um, I blended upwards with pale heath, light pink, and then even more cerise. After that, for the majority of the dragon's body, I used ice blue and sky blue, uh, just blending between these two colours and keeping the gradients nice and smooth. Um, but after adding that colouring, I noticed that it was a bit too flat and it wasn't really adding to the shape of the dragon. So I used a darker colour on top of it, uh, that being Prussian blue. Uh, and this really helped to add more depth and it just really helped to add to the overall shape especially adding the darker shading towards the lower part of the drawing. I also then used the ice blue and sky blue markers along the dragon's front, and then at the end of its tail I blended outwards with pale heath and light pink. Um, then after this whole section of colouring I then made sure to add even more highlights. And my hope with these highlights in particular is that they would help to develop the shape, um, having them contrast the darker colouring that I'd added just before. I feel like it really helps to add to the depth and just made some of the features stand out much more than if I had just left them. Next up, it was time to work on the dragon's wings, starting with the wing in the foreground. And I began by adding darker streaks of colouring with Prussian blue, then I blended outwards from that with the sky blue and ice blue, before then also adding some light pink colouring around the outside. Uh, and I also made sure to add some white Prismacolor highlights as well. Um, then, as I mentioned before, I wanted these features to look like they're kind of transparent, and I, I made sure to show up some of the features of the wing in the background through the wing in the foreground, and also the features along the dragon's back, I made sure to show them through as well. And later on, I was also going to add some highlights to really make sure this effect is seen. Um, I just wanted these transparent effects to show this dragon is definitely a different creature than the previous dragon drawings I've worked on before. Eventually, once the colouring and the details were added to the dragon, it was then time for me to work on the background within the comic panel, and I started off by using Prussian blue, blending that upwards from the bottom, uh, and then I faded that into a sky blue uh, towards the top of the drawing. But I really wasn't happy with the gradient these two colours had, so in the end I opted for a solid Prussian blue background, which created a nice dark blue night sky. I then used my white Prismacolor pencil to add clouds, then I also used the Uniball white ink pen to add highlights all the way around the dragon to make sure it stands out in front of that comic panel. Uh, then I, I actually used a mixture of these two, the white pencil and the white ink pen, to create that transparent effect around the dragon's back and behind its wing, just blending between the two, and I was really happy with this. 
For the final part of this drawing, I used the white ink pen to add a large moon in the top left corner, along with a bunch of stars, and then I also used it to brighten up some of the clouds. Um, but I felt like these bright highlights in the background started to take away from the details I added to the dragon, so then I used the Prussian blue marker over the top of the clouds and the stars, and this really helps to add a nice dark blue tone to them. And then after that, this drawing was completed. Overall, this drawing took about five and a half hours to complete, and I had such an awesome time. Working on any of these fantasy drawings, they're just, they're so much fun. Please be sure to let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. Um, if you want to follow my progress and see photos before I post these videos, then check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you all soon.